Hi everyone, in today's video, I would like to tell you more about the whiteboarding software that I use to plan all the digital marketing strategies that I do for my clients. Miro is a user-friendly web application and it is actually really fun and easy to use. If you are wondering if Miro is for you or not, I would say that if you have a business or if you plan to create one, Miro is a must-have. And really, anyone that works on all sorts of projects could benefit from this very versatile software. Another really good thing about Miro is the pricing structure. The least we can say is that they are really generous with their free plan as most of the features are included. You can create up to 3 boards before you will need to upgrade to a pet plan. I personally mostly use Miro to plan digital marketing strategies, but there is many other scenarios where you could use it. So now let me just show you what the interface actually looks like in Miro. I just created a very simple example here, as you can see, so it's a basic customer journey. Let's go through it quickly and we're going to make some modifications. So it's going to be easy for me to show you how you can actually update an existing board. It's going to show you exactly how Miro works. Okay, so here we've got some traffic that is coming from Google Ads. We send this traffic to the company website and then we want people to fill up court request form. And and then once the sales team receive the court request form, we are going to call them. Then we will send them a code by email. Then we've got two different options. The code can be accepted or the code can be declined. So that's a very, very simple example. The point is just to show you how Miro works, not how to create a customer journey. So let's just add another lead source just to show you how we can do that. So what I'm going to do here, I'm just going to select this one and copy and paste. And this one is going to be Facebook ads. So let's say that in our example, we want to try out Facebook ad. The best practice here would be to create a landing page instead of sending the traffic to the company website. It's very likely to convert a lot better. So I could obviously duplicate that, but let me just show you how to add a new shape. So as you can see, you've got a few standard shape. There's a few things that you can add here. You can even create a table. And if there is not enough here, you can click on the plus. And as you can see, there's plenty of other things to discover here. So in our case, we're just going to take a very standard rectangle and we're already purple. But if I wanted to change the color, I can come here and just pick another color. But I was happy with purple. As you can see, there's some really cool guide that's going to make my life really easy when I want to resize my rectangle. Okay, and I'm just going to write here landing page. And the best thing in Miro is that you can actually connect all your elements together with some arrows. So here is how it works. And we're going to connect this one to the same code request form. I'm not happy with this arrow's shape, so I'm just going to select something different. I want this one. As you can see, it looks a lot better. And now let's say that I want to select my four elements here and just move it to the left so it looks a lot better. And then, of course, you can add some text. I can add a text here. This is just an example. And I can change text, font size, and pretty much everything you want. Let's add this in a corner here. And maybe we can write this in red. So then here you will be back to your other boards. And that's the board name here. So here you've got some options that are just specific to this board. So you could change the background color, for example. The light gray was pretty good. And here you've got all your options that are more for sharing your work. So if you want to collaborate with people, you will have plenty, plenty of different options here. And then you can obviously share so you can allow people to only see the board, contribute or just comment. Hopefully now you can see all the benefits of using a whiteboard software like Miro and you are ready to bring to life all the strategies and plans you can think of for your business. You will find the Miro link in the description and as always, if you would like to be the first to be notified when I publish a new tutorial, don't forget to subscribe to the channel.